Right, this is a new model, hasn't been out too long. It's on Blade HQ, Blade HQ's website, and it's also on Knife Center's website. Um, it is called the Revo Berserk. Um, I believe it's made by BRS. Um, BRS makes knives as like the, uh, the Thresher XL, um, which I've had, and it's a very nice knife. So this is, I think Revo is kind of like the budget brand for BRS. Um, this is the first one, first Revo I've ever had, and First thing I noticed was how smooth it was. It's on uh, ceramic ball bearings that are very smooth. So it makes the knife very drop shutty. Um, just a very, very fidget friendly. You've got the holes there that you can deploy obviously with the thumb flick or spotty flick. But you gotta be careful because there is no choil there. So you let that drop and it goes right for your finger. It did cut me the first day I had it. I think two times actually. So I'm still healing up from the wounds. Uh, the centering on it is uh, off. Um, I think I saw another guy's review and his centering wasn't off. So I think that's just this particular one that they sent me. So I won't, I won't you know, hit on that too hard. I, I assume that most of their knives don't have bad centering. Um, it does have a left hand or right hand pocket clip. Uh, tip down or tip up I should say um, they have different variations different colors this one has g10 on this side and I think it's like stainless steel on this side they do have ones that have this steel on both sides um, much heavier though I think this one weighs 5.6 ounces is what Blade HQ's website said and the one that has the two steel sides I think weighs a whole ounce and a half more so that's why I went with this one is because I just wanted to keep it a little bit lighter um, and also, I'm kind of glad I did because the G10 is what gives you the grip. This is very, very slick. I mean, it's very, very, very slick. If uh, if, I was, if my hand sweats whatsoever, it just slides right off that. So the G10 is the grippy side. If it didn't have that G10, my hand would just slide right off this thing. Um, it does have a cool aluminum anodized, or I don't know what you call it, anodized, but it has a cool green aluminum backspacer. I like the colors. I like green. It's cool. Um... It is a deep carry clip, but for some reason they didn't position it all the way down. So you still will have a little bit hanging out of your pocket there. Um, I have taken this knife apart. Um, it's pretty well built. Uh, I took it apart to try to fix the centering. I lubed it up. Couldn't fix the centering, but hey, it's only a $45 knife, so I'm not going to complain. The blade is very sharp. As I said, it cut me twice the first day I had it just by falling on my finger. So very, very slicey. I really like the blade shape and the look of it. Uh, that's why I bought it in the first place, was because it was so eye-catching. A little bit more aggressive than I usually like, but um, I figured for 45 bucks, why not? Actually, I think I was buying uh, another knife, and I needed to <clears throat> add a little bit more to my total to get free shipping, so that was why I bought it. Um, cool knife overall. Can't really complain for $45. Um, like I said, it's a little bit heavy, um, but, I mean, it is a very decent sized knife. It's got a very wide profile. Let's go ahead and see how big it is while we're talking about it. You've got, looks like just uh, about three and a quarter, three and a quarter inch blade, overall length, uh, about seven and three quarters, as you can see. So yeah, it's, it's a nice sized knife. And uh, definitely feel the weight in hand. The ergonomics are actually pretty nice. You can, uh, you can grab it pretty well here. That does have some top jimping that your thumb really locks in on. So even though this side's pretty slick, the G10 and that jimping there really helps you lock in. Um, so overall, yeah, I like this knife for 45 bucks. Not bad. I'm actually thinking about doing the uh, uh, giveaway uh, on this knife. So yeah, if you, if you like my videos, just subscribe. I think I'll probably be giving away this knife too one of my first 100 subscribers. So yeah, y'all have a good one.